Hey y'all, what's going on? So yeah, I haven't talked about Empire or the um, Detroit pastors and all of that. I am going to talk about it when last time I was on, I talked about what the hell I wanted to talk about and had to get that out and it was done. And I've been kind of really congested and stopped up and all of that trying to get that out and then today well over the fucking weekend and a few days ago that motherfucking edgy stone's daughter honey she was coming fast and furious because i posted about what happened and going back and forth with her ass she thought she was gonna show the fuck out and whatever i wish her the best and her mother the best or whatever but girl not my, no, no, mm -mm. so, and, um, actually, I, you know, had a death in the family, and just some other things, and today, y'all, not to, oh, my God, some motherfucker is taking my videos and posting them up on a whole nother channel, like, are you fucking kidding me, I got a few, I mean, you know, like 2,000 videos or some shit like that. And I know it's a lot. It's because in the beginning, you know, I would just hop on. You know what I mean? And I haven't taken any of those things, you know, off because those are more or less, you know, moments in time, memory, and this and that. And other. With that being said, Marion is on a few videos. So, anywho. So, I went over there. That is so fucked up. They started uploading like 16 or 15 hours ago or whatever. <laughs> my videos like I think now it's like 150 of my videos over there like what the fuck that is some creepy ass shit like for real like I don't know what kind of fuck ass life you got to have to do some shit like that and I know that sometimes people do that in order to try to get the main person's channel taken down because it's like a duplicate upload so I put in the dispute and all of that. I asked y'all to go over to that channel and, you know, flag the channel. It does a little button where it says more. I think it says more on it. It's got like the three dots on it. If you drop it down or whatever, you can, you know, flag it or whatever. But I'm just like, like sometimes this shit get just... Oh my God, I've always said it. The motherfucking internet is a double-edged fucking sword. And it will always be that on one side, it is there, it's, you know, kind of, it has helped to shed light on what motherfuckers are doing and, you know, like, you know, people showing videos of the cops doing what they doing and just things like that. And a way to let you know about things that you you know, would not have been able to reach out and know about it, whatever the case may be. And it can be a kiki or whatever, but it's just like, what? Who? When does your life get so motherfucking fucked up that that is all you get? Like, for real, when you, when you set out just to be a fucking troll, like, just, that's all you are. You know what I mean? Like, you, this, you, who, who has that kind of time? Some of my fucking videos is like 45 minutes long, and I, ugh, you got to rip them out, do whatever you're doing, take them down, do what you're doing, render if you render it, and then upload. I, mm -mm, I can't. I can't. I, I fucking can't. But I will. I, had, I did block the channel, but you know motherfuckers like that got 16 billion channels and, and they will continue and continue and continue to do shit. But I will continue to re report this channel for, I think the actual, what I can do as far as my channel is reported for uh, impersonation. Uh, no, I'm not here. And, you know, like, at, I'm just a little over it. And I, you know, I'm just over it. I just went back and watched that Nana Hose. I just kind of want to, y'all, this hair look fluffy the motherfucker today. This is my favorite hair, but I think I got it way too fluffy. This is that one hair, y'all, that damn, I think I do. 
I should have brushed it, combed it a little bit. Mm -hmm. It still keeps this shit, y'all. I'm telling you. Um. Anyway, I just watched the Atlanta hoes over again, and I guess I say all that to say, mm -hmm. I'm just fucking kind of over it right now. Oh, what the fuck are you want to do over here? Whatever. Um. What the fuck, y'all? The Atlanta hoes. Like I listen. I was flipping back and forth between um, Once Upon a Time. Oh, shit. That's like my titties out over there. It's like a lopsided shirt. Oh, well, I didn't make it better. You know, one side out, one side up. Anywho, and I'm flipping with the hoes and Once Upon a Time and trying to see some other shit. I am really at the point where, like, they could cut the Atlanta hoes off. I'm I'm be real with y'all. And, you know, for a year or two or some shit like that, and I'll be like, good. Because, you know, I bring the new hoes on. I can't wait till the new hoes come. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm, I'm just kind of over it. And NeNe girl, let's see. Should I talk about some of the small shit that, um, that was on? I'm, and why is Portia still in this shit? I hope Andy, did you still cut her a check? Because she was in almost every episode. Why the fuck did you even fire her and you was going to have her on like that? Like, oh, Lord have mercy. Why? It was just, uh, oh, Lord. Yeah, I'm so fucking over this shit. <laughs> Phaedra, some motherfucker where she's visiting everybody, Nene's visiting her and the babies and Nene, Lanithia, honey, I'm sorry, but I don't feel like what you're doing as far as Phaedra is concerned is really genuine, but I know it don't motherfucking matter. I really don't feel like it's genuine. I really think that you have, when it comes to the ladies, you have kind of burnt a lot of bridges and I think tonight it was more noticeable than ever now that is not to say that I don't like Lanithia because I think some kind of way she might be able to I don't know maybe change and you know come up out of this just right now I just really feel like what is your motive with Phaedra and she could very well be concerned I don't get it but whatever what have you um, and I think she's running out of people to that she's all right with because she's never going to be totally all right with Candy. Candy doesn't like Lanithia, and Lanithia does not like Candy. Period. Period. It's not hard to see that shit at all. Who what? Lanithia always talking about how much money she gets. You ain't got no money. You got change. Well, I don't know how much money she do or she don't have. Yes, she do, y'all. My husband does not like Lanithia. I will tell y'all that my husband is Team Twirl. As much as I hate to say that, he is absolutely Team Kenya. Okay? I don't like her. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Okay. Are you going to do it through my whole video? No. That's why I don't want you to cut that damn game on. Anywho, he seemed to her. Um, I just, they don't like each other. You know, I think um, Candy tries to ride below the radar so you can't really see through her bullshit. Because I've said it from day one. I don't give a fuck how nobody feels about it. Candy's motherfucking ass, brilliant businesswoman or whatever. But she is a instigator in some sense, in a way. She is very sneaky in the way she does it. You know what I mean? On one hand, it's like, oh, I don't like all of this. I don't. But girl, you will instigate some shit, you know, and say that shit. And oh, I don't really like the drama. This and that. Nothing. With that said, girl, you very comfortable. Why are you on the hoes? For anybody who says that they don't like the motherfucking drama, if your ass is on any of these motherfucking franchises or the hoes or the wives or any kind of shit like that, your ass is in for it in some ways. You know, it's as simple as that. Okay, but <laughs> Anyway, so it's kind of like... Y'all, it's 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 just so silly to me. And now, you know, you got Claudia in there, and girl. Now you want to be a comedian, or you want to be able to say certain shit. And 
Oh, dude who you said hangs out, y'all, I'm all over, that hangs out with you, he's like, well, Ricky's a comedian, basically, bitch, don't be trying to overstep your motherfucking boundaries, do your job. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't understand, oh, y'all, excuse me, my damn back. If y'all heard some creakily, my damn desk is like, I think it needs to be tightened up or some shit, I don't know. Anywho. He basically gave you, you know, some advice, but he said, be a stand-up comedian. Would I sit there? Would I? I don't see it for you, but you might be funny because I didn't see the foxhole and all of that. But listening to her talk about it, I feel like she was probably better suited for the foxhole. Because like she said, I was able to be crude and I was able to say that and be cute and still be crude and this and that and nothing have this shit to say, you know. So, you know, why didn't you stay? Or maybe they just let you go. I don't know why. Then you, she had that whole meal with old girl. And she was like, oh, do you watch the Rick Smiley show? And she's like, oh, I watch some of it. I mean, listen to it. But it's just okay. I kind of liked you as this one. And I, I don't know. I, I don't really care. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, I don't. It's, and really, this is no shade. I just really don't care what Claudia is doing. You know, I don't one way or the other feel either way about her. You know what I mean? She's just kind of there. You know, with that being said, oh girl, Demetria, whatever. What is she doing? I wish she would get off the show just for her best interest. Like, this is not the group of ladies you need to be in, honey. Walk away from this shit so fast that our head will spin. You know what I'm saying? Like, Claudia needs this. Like, girl, you don't need this. Just like Candy, you don't need it. For the money or whatever. Nene, you use this as a platform and you got whatever coin you got and continue to get. But the way it's looking to me is like it's about wrapping up. Because when it came time for you to go and have this meeting, what you thought was going to be to the good. And I don't even know if you thought it was going to be to the good. Was it just a storyline? Because none of those ladies like you but except Portia. And eventually Kenya's going to come. I'm not Kenya shit. Um, uh, Phaedra is going to be like, well, yeah, for what it's worth. You know, she was there, but she did say, hey, uh, Nene was there. She was being a friend. So that might stay the same. With that said, let me go and have this moment with Todd and Candy and her and how they the do's and the don'ts. Did y'all see how long it took him to say? What her good qualities was. And girl you said. I want us to do something like this. Like build. Not necessarily business. But here we are again. We're filling her belly up with some damn babies. Todd if you don't give her a bucket of semen. And let her just swim in it. And hopefully. Something. Will penetrate. Lord. Please give her this baby. Oh my God, Candy, do you think that's the only thing that's going to hold y'all together? I don't know. Like, girl, I'm telling y'all, you can run a man off with these thirsty fucking wounds. Give it a baby. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it. Let's get it. Let's do it now. Every minute. It ain't cause to feel good to me. Well, I mean, I, I couldn't be with... I mean, I imagine it would be hard. It's hard for any man to be with Candy because of her mama, but very hard for Ty. And a lot of y'all think that Candy emasculates Todd. Um, and, you know, I'm going to ask that, like, it's, you know, what you mean? On, I mean, I know what it means, but just kind of expand on that. How you feel like she does emasculate him or whatever. You know, because on the flip side, a lot of people feel like Candy is, you know, do anything she needs to do for her man. You know what I mean? Like, she wants that. You know, but y'all feel like he, you know, she emasculates him. Now, is it in the sense that even if he's right, she's and the mama stone wrong, he, she's not willing to protect him from her mama, but she can't even protect herself from my mama. You know what I'm saying, honey? Her mama's like Melissa Fent. Melissa Fent or whatever. Y'all know who I'm talking about. That evil ass. Yeah, Melissa Fent. She's just, that's what it is. 
you know, but with that being said, when you get married, honey, you have a husband, like, your mama can't be turning them down on every coin, like, come on, who wants a man that can be towed down like that all the time, you know, he begins to look like a motherfucking whip, and then you'll want this motherfucker to protect you, and you'll look up, bitch, and you'll be in a sword fight trying to protect him, the fuck out of her, you know, at the very least, we're gonna be fighting together, I'm just saying, I just, girl, maybe just sit back. And I'm sure by now she's decided, you know, because she, you know, posts pictures and they still together and all of that. You know, I just say to anybody that's in that situation, honey, put girl, sprinkle a little water on that thirsty ass dry ass woman, whatever you're going through. Not dry, but just thirsty. Don't be wearing these men down with you got to give me a baby. You got to, you got to, you got to, you know what I mean? Like, at a point, they don't even want to continue to fuck. It don't even feel good. No more for this, like, oh, this bitch. Oh, Lord, is she ovulating? Oh, please stop. Anywho. And Todd's answered his question, but he was kind of like, <clears throat> um, you, um, and I'd have been like, what the fuck? You know, but whatever, girl, work it out. You tried to work your ex exercises, but it didn't work. But good luck with that. I really, I guess that if if y'all supposed to make it, good luck. I don't know. Um, and it really don't matter my fucking opinion or anybody else Damn. that talks about the shit I'm reviewing it or whatever. Whoever's in her life, you know, it really don't fucking matter. That's our motherfucking marriage. This is just my take on it. Okay, moving on along. And now, can we go to... Le Phaedra, girl, you know who chocolate is. Girl, and you don't do nothing but dig yourself a hole. Because as soon as that shit's laid out there, you're going to be somewhere with them lips a-bucking and shit. And trying to bat your ass and play like you uh, this southern belle. And... <laughs> I don't know what that is. No, I did not, girl. It's just best. I mean, you don't have to tell nobody your business. You could be like, bitch, if I'm fucking all the motherfucking pieces of chocolate in Russell Stover's box, what the fuck do it matter to you? Mm, you know, but I mean, but I believe there's a chocolate girl. And it ain't white. But we're going to move forward. We'll let that come out. We'll let that tea spill when it comes out. Okay. Um, you and Nene had a talk. And then at one point, Candy went, went to her office. And because Nene went out of her way to say, you know, Faith is feeling some kind of way. And, of course, here comes Candy again crying, girl. I, uh, I When I think that you would, you know, talk to her about <laughs> Like, bitch, I can't. I fucking can't. Now, which is it? You know what I mean? Like, is that your friend or not? Are you more upset at the fact that maybe, huh, Lanithia are becoming friends? Are you a little bit jealous or whatever, girl? You and that boo hoo and it. Uh, 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 I can't. Oh, girl. Oh, Lord Jesus. Moving forward. I can't go no further into it. Kenya girl, I mean not Kenya, uh, Portia girl, what was you cooking? Look like some motherfucking uh, bouillon cubes and eggs. I don't know what you was cooking. Girl, I don't know, but however, whatever. Um, Now let's move on to the damn meeting where they all going to come together now. Nene's the first one to come. And then I believe Portia came in. And then here comes... um. I think Candy came in after that. And then here comes Kenya, Claudia, and um, Cynthia's ass. And they walking together like the Charlie's Angels. They had them walking on beat. I was like, Lord, here we go. Okay. So, I'm, I'm already feeling bad for the therapist. Because I know this shit is not going to go right. I already knew before they even showed the clip. That that shit was not going to go right. It wasn't going to be right. And Nene girl. What you thought you was doing. Flipped on your ass. I knew it was going to flip on her ass. And basically. All it did was. Give them a platform. 
in which to talk about how you have wronged all of them in their eyes. Now, you got to remember, this is what they perceive and how they feel. And, and Lanithia, whether you want to accept it or not, you cannot tell a bitch how she feels or how she accepted something. With that being said, bitch, you were simple tonight. At one point, you was this bitch, and the next point, you was that bitch. And I'm like, this bitch ain't even a united front. Pull all you whores together and figure out who you are, girl, and stand up in it. Because if you really about the right shit, and you really want it to be about therapy or whatever, and not just a whole shade fest, where you thought maybe the doctor was going to tell everybody else, how wrong they was, girl. He said everybody. And I feel like you was awful disrespectful to him to say, I don't even know you like that. But, bitch, you went in there with your family with him, your husband and all of that shit. Girl, you're the one who brought him to the table. Right. So how dare you do that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you really can't say you about that life when you that girl for real when you don't deal well under pressure, bitch. We all get under pressure. Now, you might be screaming inside your head, bitch, but you know how it go. You ain't never supposed to see him sweat. And you may have thought that you walked off gracefully and all of that, the looks on your face as they were stinging you with that shit. I don't blame you for, I mean... <sighs> The thing with you and Cynthia, if you don't want to be her friend, I'm going to fuck it. Don't be her friend. But here's my whole thing. And I am getting tired of Cynthia saying, can we sit down and just have a conversation? Bitch, look. Your motherfucking delayed ass. I'm sick of it. And I would look at you and say, no, we cannot, Cynthia. Here's the conversation. I am going to be able to be in a room with you, bitch. If you wave to everybody, I will say hi to everybody as well. I don't need you as a friend or to keep having conversations with you, bitch. It could just be that we are not friends. I do not like you. You don't like me. And, bitch, that's the end of it. And it don't have nothing to do with age and all of that. I'm so motherfucking sick of motherfucking saying being grown up where you, you know, like, just because you want somebody that's not jigging does not mean that you're not grown. What it means is, is you and her is not jigging. Hello? You know what I mean? Like everybody don't have to like everybody. With that said, it is a such thing as being cordial. And that means hello to everyone. Hello. When you come in a room, goodbye to everybody. Hi. You know, you ain't necessarily stopped at everybody and said that. That is all inclusive. When you come in a room, you speak. You know what I mean? Like a bitch ain't got to sit down and be holding no conversation with you. Every fucking conversation. Who you need to have a conversation with is that bald-headed, rice-steaming motherfucker you been married to. That's it. And probably a couple other motherfuckers, but we won't get into that. Moving forward, y'all, it's hurting everywhere. Y'all see, I be, I be trying to be, you know, cute about it, be like, you know, but sometimes you just gotta go, what the fuck? Anywho, now, I will say this, like the part where Kenya was like, can I give you a hug? You know, like, okay, can I give you a hug? As soon as Kenya came in, you said, here come Kenya, her fake ass. I'm not a fan of Kenya's. But you make yourself look bad and she makes you look bad when you every time you are the one coming with these antics and having the first thing to say. But with that being said, you know, I guess you have a right to that. But like I said, you can dislike a bitch. Bitch, I don't like you. You don't like me. That's what it is. We ain't got to be fighting tooth and nail. We don't have to fuck up every function. We can just be cordial. But she was like, can I give you a hug? She made you look silly. It's kind of like, oh, okay, you know. Like, I really do think maybe somewhere, Kenya, if if there was really some change, like, Kenya would be willing to say, well, whatever, bygones is fucking bygones. With anybody but except Phaedra. Like, she's not going to do that with Phaedra. You know, but I think it would be some kind of way that y'all might could. She might could rise above it before you can. 
you know, but it always ends up making you look bad, you know, in a sense. And you did do that when when she said, well, we was there sitting, but really you was kind of talking about the whole thing with Cynthia and this, that, and other. But on the flip side, Nene, you was kicking with her and high fiving and shit. And then it was like, oh. You know, like it's a pleasure for someone to speak to you and this and that and other. Like, bitch, you just kind of hovering a little higher than you need to be. You know, honey, there's no doubt about it. You are one of the first. You are Lanita Elites, honey. And you are the reason why there is a franchise. But in the midst of that, I will remind you that you always had someone to disagree with. Whether it was charade or whatever. You know. So it wasn't just you by yourself. But you are the draw. But right now. You looking bad as hell. And I want you to save face. But tonight. When everybody said what they had to say. I don't even want to indulge in Cynthia's shit. I just wish. You would have said to her, like you said about Kenya, we're never going to be friends. Look at Cynthia, and you shouldn't even call this meeting because you really don't want to be friends with anyone in there. But except Portia, at, you know, for right now, and you are right with Phaedra. But you know that if you alienate all of these women and they decide they don't want to take with that ass, you run out of storylines. You know. Then, girl, you might be like, bitch, I thought you was one of my, I am, I'm team Nene, but I'm, I'm going to call it as it is, as I said, right or wrong, and when you right, bitch, I ride with you, when you wrong, I try to, I ride with you after I let you know what the fuck you did wrong, you know, now, uh, Candy girl you used this opportunity And you ate this up Did y'all see how Candy was eating that up And how she was able to say what the fuck she said Candy everything you said Was out of your true disdain That you have for Lanethia I think you may dislike her more than anybody else on there You truly do dislike Nene This was your opportunity To address how she's coming around And oh can you just throw friends away And this and that Another one can you I'm just asking. I'm just asking. You know, and I think it was that, you know, what you said was kind of like, and as the doctor began to say what he was saying, and when he was like, well, you know, trying to hear, and you are talking over Cynthia or whatever, when it comes to Cynthia, just, I think it's as simple as saying, girl, we will never be friends. Just like you said about Kenya, we will never be friends. And with all that said, why did you even try to bring these women together? And you did not invite Kenya. You know, you didn't. And you had to know that she was going to bring that up. You know what I mean? Stop acting all brand new, honey, when it comes to certain things. You knew Kenya was going to bring that shit up. And you should have known that Candy was going to say what she said. You know, and she's talking about just that person that want to do this is always the one that needs the most help when you think. You know all that bullshit. You know what? What you need to do is figure candy, honey. Uh, figure out how to stand up to your mother in a respectable way, but be that woman. That's what you need to do. You need to pull that motherfucking hungry ass, thirsty uterus that you're trying to feel and wound back just her. Be happy and be married to your husband. Stop fucking crying all the time. Figure out how you and Faith are going to fix this friendship. Don't let Andy and the show come in between y'all. You know, what you should have did, you should have told Faith, well, you know what, you was going through stuff and so was I. Like, Phaedra, she didn't have to throw everything that's going, to, going on in her life away just for you and your shit. I mean... You know, you want a motherfucker to bow down to you and chase you down when you're going through shit, but you don't even know your friend is going through something. So, you know, it's it's tit for tat. Like, how do you not know she's going through that and had to let the show when really what she's really upset about is the fact that Todd ain't fucking her like she want to be fucked. Her ass ain't pregnant. And her ass ain't pregnant. And her ass ain't pregnant. And in that order. Like, that's it. 
in that fucking order. Like, I don't even know if it would matter if he was fucking somebody else. I think she would be happy as hell if she just had a full motherfucking uterus right now. A full wound, honey. Wound. I just, somebody give this bitch a baby. You know, just give her a fucking baby. I'm tired of it. Y'all, I'm about sick of all of that. Lanithia, when you walked off, I felt you was real disrespectful to that doctor who told you, and again, I will say this, that he was not going to bend the shit for you. He was going to be as stern with you or whatever. He meant everybody as a group to try to help. Now, the ladies came because you facilitated this and then you walked your ass out of there and then you was like um oh and do you have a storyline and then all of this eyes and mm, cuz I see you and and call your girl you're trying to make yourself and this and that and other girl you brought them together so whatever was going on you had to know that all of these women were going to throw back at you every account that they had had with you but except Portia. And remember how you pointed out and y'all pointed out the fact that Candy didn't get up and follow Portia. I mean uh, uh, Phaedra. Well Portia didn't get up and follow your ass. Didn't nobody get up and follow you but that doctor. And Portia was there as your friend. Supposed to be. But she didn't get up and follow your ass. And it wasn't shit she could say. I'm just saying and really why would she even be in the conversation? She's I'm not even going to remind y'all that she's not. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Andy, hurry up and get these new hoes on her. Now, I'm not saying Lanithia is going anywhere. Because, you know, I would hate for her to go. You know, she is one of the originals, but that is kind of getting old. I just want Nene to own up to, her, to some of her shit. I don't really care that she owns up to no shit with Cynthia. Y'all, I think Cynthia needs to go. She's as irrelevant as they come to me. And if it wouldn't be for Claudia and Kenya talking to your ass, Cynthia, you would not have a line in this show. You just would not. So I guess you better cleave on to them. But I will not miss you a bit at all. You are, I would miss the motherfucking rice before I miss you, I, Peter. Just the rice. I'm just saying, y'all, I'm just over Lanithia, girl. You was a hundred motherfuckers up there. And when Cla and Claudia was like, are you bipolar? Cla Claudia, really? Are you a fucking drunk? I, I mean, I'm just saying. Like, you called her bipolar. Like, that to me is kind of, you know, well, I mean, you know, it's kind of a serious thing. Are you? You know, and the doctor was even like that was serious. Like, what was you trying? Because y'all was in that session. You wanted to call. It, I don't understand why, uh, Nene, why you even entertain Claudia. Like, who is Claudia? Like, as far as I'm concerned, she really doesn't have that huge a storyline. Like, who the fuck wanted you to talk to Luna? And who? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> At this point, you're just Kenya's friend on the show. Okay. You know, you got a storyline because of Kenya. And you did get a little shine from when you read Nene's ass a tidbit. But I could see Cynthia go, Claudia go, and wouldn't bat an eye. Portia, it's time. For you, it's, 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 it's time. <laughs> it is time, baby. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Okay? Still like you, but it's time. You're not on the show, but you're on the show. It's getting on my nerves. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm over it. But Lanita, girl, this shit backfired on your ass. And I really felt the worst part of it was how you disrespect that doctor. I don't even know you like that. Bitch, who was you when you said, I can't. Y'all, leave that shit below. Just tell, how did y'all, do y'all feel like that shit backfired on Nene? Because ain't no one or two ways about it. It did. I mean, it just hit her ass dead in the ass. Like, girl, whatever you was trying to make it be, honey, all them women came in there. And what put the coffin in the motherfucking nail was when Cynthia, not Cynthia, Candy, hit you with her shit. But you know she was going to wait and be calculated with her shit. Because Nene, if there's ever a bitch who don't like you on that show and really have a true disdain for your ass, it is Candy. It's definitely Candy. So anywho, y'all, I'm out of here. Much love and all of that bullshit, Candy. Hopefully you'll get a full room. I don't know. Good night.